there, I'm Kim Berry, editor of Food and Drink Business. Welcome to our weekly news roundup. Bega has announced uh, 74 job losses at its Bega based facility. The job losses will come from its processed cheese business, which is currently produced in Bega and also at its Strathmerton plant in Victoria. Uh, Chair Barry Irwin told local radio yesterday that a drop in consumer demand as they're looking for more natural based products as well as increased competition has driven the decision. The business will be consolidated at its Strathmerton facility. Uh, the next step towards the national goal to halve food waste by 2030 is underway. Food Innovation Australia Limited has announced that the it has begun the feasibility study. Fial says that the study will look at myriad uh, factors, including data gaps, uh, food waste hotspots, as well as how the target can be achieved and costed delivery trajections. It's going to, it was, uh, the feasibility study was, was marked as a really important step towards achieving that goal. Wine Australia's 2020 Vintage Report has been released. Uh, as with so many agricultural industries, it has been a pretty brutal year. The, while the crop was down uh, to levels similar to 2007, the yield was at about levels about a decade ago in 2010. So while that was low, the, the vintage is actually classified as being quite good and it's expected that uh, it would meet the premium range targets. Mars Wrigley has invested $300,000 at its chocolate, facility, chocolate plant in Ballarat. The money is going towards new technology so that they can start producing their M&M pretzel range in Australia. Uh, I'd like to point out that Tuesday was World Chocolate Day and not one uh, gift of chocolate crossed my desk, for which I am both grateful and very disappointed. You are all on notice for 2021. With that, I'm Kim Berry. Please head to the website foodanddrinkbusiness.com.au for all of the news, as well to subscribe to the weekly newsletters and this news bulletin. Uh, this week's uh, um, edition is brought to you by Food Mac, and I'm Kim Berry. Over and out.